we now we have to deal with the stress of mom. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment, which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. <sighs> I don't really like either of these options, but I guess those are the options she would make, though. Yeah, let's just do, can we please do this later? Because I don't want to... Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? Why do you... I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. <laughs> who wants Sergeant Asshat? Listen, I just... <clears throat> Okay, so Joyce has made this situation where she's, like, desperately trying to find a replacement for William, I think. Mm hmm And she's brought David into Chloe's life way too soon. Like, way, way too soon. In How my long has... I think William's been dead for only, like, one or two years. But, like... Really? He... I thought it was a little bit longer than that, because my remember... point. My point being is that... Her and David, Joyce and David, haven't been together long enough to warrant that kind of... Oh, yeah. And, like, you should... Chloe needs more time to get to know David before he immediately starts putting his authority on her. So I think her. there's, like, two separate things here. One, I think that... I think that William has been dead for longer than that because remember when Max goes back in time, they're, like, very clearly much younger yeah, you're she right. Is right now, like yeah. I feel like they were what twelve or like I don't know thirteen. Yeah. Well, I think what I'm trying to say Anyways, is that like, so I think it's okay for her to be dating again. But yes. I think yes. That what's wrong, or like what what she's maybe not handling as well is the, this is your new dad. Yeah, because there it's just too like, it's okay for her to be dating again, but it's not okay for her to be like, okay, well we're dating and you said you wanted to, so I'm just gonna let it happen, like. Give Chloe some fucking time to... If... Maybe if Chloe had more time to get to know David, they could have bonded easier. But yeah. now that, like, he's just stepping in. And I get it. I know that he just desperately wants to be a part of a family and stuff. Like, he wants to be part of a family. Joyce wants a new dad for Chloe. But Chloe's like, this is too fast for me. This is too fast for me. <laughs> That's but what yeah, you just said. It is, though. She's my mother. I'm just if like... my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. This is what? Like, I... like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. <laughs> what the fuck, man? You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? <sighs> I so... wish there was the option to say, David, you're, like, going way too fast for me. I just need to deal with this with my mom. Mm-hmm. Someone needed my help. Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Why? Chloe, like... I care about Joyce. <laughs> Very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the <gasps> incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. What the fuck? Who the fuck? down. What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. But with an apology... I'm willing to start over. I can I can understand, like, some people are going to be like, well, why is Chloe just being so awful to David? And it's just like, do you not get it? Do you not get it? 
that he's like a stranger coming into her house. Yeah, I'm not sure if maybe uh, it's easier. So you're, as somebody who has divorced parents that both got remarried. Yeah. Um, I feel like I definitely did have this situation come up where uh-huh. it's like the step parent or like the new person that they're dating has to figure out like what is my role here Mm -hmm. I was pretty lucky in that all of those family dynamics were like pretty okay and that like the new person mostly relied on like my actual parent to discipline me well yeah your stepmom's pretty cool did she give you the space you needed at first and I mean but also it's like different because like I didn't have a parent die yeah that I was very close to, which is another, like, really big thing that is very different from, you know... Let's just do it. Yeah. Because we've already, like, fucked up a lot today, so let's just say I would say sure. Sure. Reset button pressed. We didn't. I am glad to hear it. From we now never actually on, apologized. I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like, making sure that you are no longer... Abusing drugs or alcohol. <laughs> what? Not my drugs and alcohol. Not my drugs. Uh, That's reasonable, mom. but not you. <laughs> Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Justin saved our life, what dude. I know. Fuck? Thanks, if Justin. If we're going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. <laughs> if you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. I don't mom, know why I find you all can't this be so serious. funny. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. What? Let's the fuck? go, Chloe. Quit stalling. If anyone should be saying this, it should be Joyce who does it, right? Or am I wrong? I think that the reason that Joyce is like is turning to David is because he is like more of an enforcer and that Chloe just doesn't listen to Joyce. That's probably why. And yeah. that Joyce feels like Chloe is out of her control, whether that's true or not, you know? It's called getting a therapist for your daughter. Yeah. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Suck it, parents. I didn't have any drugs. Yep. <laughs> now you can't prove it. Ooh, weed. Oh, oh no. What? When the the horror. <sighs> Happy. This is the best course of okay, action. Okay, just marijuana, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chloe, I am not happy. But I am relieved that you came clean. I hope this can be the beginning of a new chapter for us. You know, I do a feel like... A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, oh my god. What does that mean? Oh boy. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move <laughs> in. No, really bad idea, honestly. Uh, look at the no look on her. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. <laughs> Talk to me, Chloe. Tell uh, me what you're feeling. Gosh, this is written so well. I know, and I'm pissed. You're trying, you're trying I, get I get it. it. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But, but you're not making it easier for is me, not either. not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. They did such a good job of, like... In a million like... years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. At the very least, they're not sending us to one of those surprise oh, yeah. teenage well, things. We could go on a walkabout! Oh my god. Okay, in case, in case you guys don't know, there's sometimes when you're a teenager and your parents feel like you're out of control. No, no, no. 
S- sometimes when people feel like you're out of control. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This happens to people who aren't teenagers. Yeah, sometimes, but, like, this happens a lot to teenagers. This happened to my friend when I was in high school, and we were all like, why the fuck did you do this, you stupid Charlie's mom? Fuck you. Um, if your parents think you're out of control, they can either send you on a walkabout, which is when they basically just leave you in the wild with a counselor and you have to learn how to live off the land, which I honestly... Oh, that's not... Okay. That's a walkabout. Well, yeah, but <clears throat> usually what it is is it's, like, you and a group of other, like, trouble troublemaker kids or, like, kids that just, like, want to... People that want to, I don't know, get away from bad influences type thing, they'll send you and a couple counselors on, like, essentially, like, a month-long camping hike type thing. Yeah, or, but like, you have to, like, or, like learn how months. to survive off the land and shit. Like, yeah. And it basically takes you out of the situation you're in to reset, but it, I don't think it really, from my opinion, I don't think it really solves the problems because basically it's just taking the problems away without you learning how to deal with them. Or you can wake up and there's two big du- dudes at the end of your bed and you're forced to go and they say you're leaving now and so that, and they do that so you can't run away. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I feel like... At least they're not doing that. When it comes to therapeutic approaches I think that probably more telling of whether the approach will work is the place that the person is at in like this their own thing. in their own like headspace you know like if somebody doesn't want to change how they're behaving nothing you do is, is, gonna is gonna help it's the same thing with like drug addiction if somebody is addicted to drugs and they don't want to stop doing drugs and, like, they have absolutely no desire to change, like, it's very hard, regardless of, like, whether it's a walkabout or, like, rehab, like, whatever it is. That's why all the girls that the place that we went to at the, um, at the kids' building, they were there for, like, years. Yeah, Because they were there against their will, and the state was paying for them to be there. And the to- it would take for them... For those of you that don't know, Mari and I met in treatment for mental health issues. It was a residential treatment center. center. Yeah. So they, like, lock the doors and shit. They're magnetically locked, and a bunch of very dramatic things happen. It was like... Uh, what's, <laughs> what's that movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? It was that. Yeah, it's pretty It was that. pretty intense. No, we're... But there was a kid's... There was a kid's ward, and, like, the kids were there for, like, years because basically... Most of the adults are there because they wanted to be there in some form or another. No. Well, you you had the agency to leave if you really, really wanted to. Some people. Some not pe- everybody. Okay, more likely. But the kids are the, all forced. The kids are all 100% forced where they, like, have, they're, like, taken by big, strong people who don't let you leave. <laughs> oh, my God. We're making this sound like a total nightmare. If you need treatment, a residential treatment center can really help. We're making it sound as if it's like being sentenced to death. No, the place we're like a labor re- camp. <laughs> I just, I guess. Listen, I, kids. Don't, don't wanna fuck. Go, you don't want to go there. You, you don't, don't want to fuck up. You don't want to be where we've been. <laughs> okay. Put down the marijuana. Okay. <laughs> it's a bad place. <laughs> don't smoke weed. That's what we sound if like the right very, now. You, oh if you God. smoke a doobie, the next day you will next wake day. up. <laughs> Two, two big scary men at dragging you, bed, dragging you off into the woods. You'll be there for six months against your will, surviving off the land. You'll be you'll be mining coal in the backwoods country of Virginia. <laughs> it's dark, all because of one doobie. Because you smoked a doobie. Because you smoked a doobie. The a next mar- day, a marijuana cigarette. There's an alert that goes off. We really need to get back on this game. <laughs> Welcome to our 12-minute intro where we lecture you about drugs. Yeah, don't do them unless, you know, <laughs> whatever. You'll be sent, and then the next thing you know, you're smelling poop out of a box. <laughs> that story is one of my favorites. <laughs> it's my poop in a box. They told me the story, and I was like, kids are dumb. There is no home. Not if he's there. Oh, oh great. Chloe. That's one-way track to a walkabout. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Sometimes I feel like 
David is talking <clears throat> from experience, which I get, but then yeah. it's like, David, you're still fucking up, though. Oh, you mean kind of like how we told people that if they smoke one marijuana cigarette, then they're going to end up in a place locked with other kids that sniff poop from a box? Well, it happened to us. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it could happen to you! It, we smoked a doobie, and then the next thing you know, <laughs> we're tracked with kids who's smoking poop in a box. Uh, we're smelling it or Smoking whatever. poop in a box? <laughs> Where'd she get the weed? <laughs> Wait, is she smoking weed? She just and breathed you know out which smoke. Way's up. Oh, it's a cigarette. Her whole life has been turned upside down. And there's the car. I think. I'm just gonna hang out on my car that uh, my dad died in. No biggie. I could see how you might find it almost comforting in a way. Well, yeah, kind of like when you're really sad and you think about Black death Hall's and you're like, that's, a, that's uh, yeah. I can't go home anymore. So we're gonna live in the junkyard? This is my this, home now. This junkyard, all I've got left. She's literally trash. Well, but that's In like a joking a, way, not really. <laughs> but you know how when people she, are like, I live in the garbage? It was a joke. Yeah. But now she actually lives in garbage. Now she actually lives in garbage. She is a garbage person <laughs> who lives in garbage. Sorry, what were you saying? Um. Now I'm trapped in the garbage. Now I'm in the garbage too. What's that from? Trapped in the closet. R. Kelly. Don't oh, you remember okay. that whole like nine minute? He said it was a modern opera. Yeah. But. The... And then South Park made a whole joke out of it. It was just. Under the closet, trapped in the garbage. I sold miners. Sorry, I had to acknowledge that he was a yeah sex predator weirdo. Yeah. Abony, what's that? Anne Bunny. I missed it. Anne Bonnie, that sounds familiar. Anne Bonnie, what's that? Maybe Anne Bonnie and Clyde. I don't know. Sounds like an author from like the 1800s or something. Ugh. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If I would this beast say... will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Do so you know how David? Turn car... around and let me see it. Do you know how David's car doesn't work in the future, and he's trying to fix no, it? No, let me see the license plate. Oh, and and Benet, and Benet. Mm. And Benny. Look it up. What if she... Okay, so I would suggest that she ask that David help her fix it up, but I know for a fact she's just going to steal all his car parts and put it in this car and be like, I don't know what happened to your car. I don't know. Magical Maybe. battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. Maybe like... Oh, Anne Bonnie was an Irish pirate operating in the Caribbean. Oh, was she one of the few female pirates? Yeah. Cool. Look at look at Guess her. I was pretty Holy pissed shit. at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Remember because Chloe likes pirates. So that I remember sense. there's this thing where um, there was like these two women, like, I can't remember how it happened, but they were like yeah, the lover, the they were the lover of the captain, and then they turned out they were just more like lesbians. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. But whenever I think about historical sex where people are, like, fucking and stuff, I just think, wow, they must oh, be, like, really smelly and her dirty. Her lover was Calico Jack. So, wait, is that a lady? No, oh. Calico Jack is John Rick Rackham. I don't know who that is. But, wait. This thing looks somewhat new. She turns out to be gay. Maybe I know she does. still works? No. She didn't have a female lover? No. There were some other pirates who were gay. No, what are you she... trying to hide under their hood? She no, she marries Calico Jack. Ugh, whatever. And then there's also like Mary Reed, but it doesn't mention anything else about um 
I assume this car is a fresh battery because it has a boot on it. So oh, it Bonnie been... is a non-playable character in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh, yeah, I remember her because she was uh, dressing as a man for a while. And I was like, is that a lady? Is and that a me... lady? And then I was like, is that like a, a trans man before hormonal treatment or what's going on? And then she was like, nope, just a cis woman. And then she flipped off a building. Mm. In official car speak... This is the thing that makes the other things do their things. And she gets shocked and dies. Nope. This is before. Well, why would she? I was it's joking. Not on. Here we go. The doesn't make sense. The litter. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> it does make sense when I you... disagree with your joke. I have post-traumatic life is strange syndrome, where <laughs> everything, everything that could possibly happen to Chloe will, okay? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Well, we know she doesn't die in this one. You don't know. You don't. I don't know. <laughs> There's just no way of knowing. <laughs> Cause like I just don't trust Life is Strange writers anymore. Not Please. like they're not good, but they're they're just gonna hurt me. <laughs> oh, I've been hurt before. I've been hurt before. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Warning. I really this thought vehicle Colin paid better. This vehicle has been seized and impounded in execution of a warrant slash order. This vehicle is distrained and impounded in accordance with the authority, blah, 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 in pursuant of Section 2-1 of the Narcotics Damage Act of 1985. I wonder if we can get some drugs out of this because there's, like, this precedent where drug dealers' cars keep being sold at auction as, you know, because it's being stolen by the police. Yeah. Not stolen, I'm sorry. Taken by the police because they were arrested. Impounded. Impounded. And so they sell them at auction. But, like, drug dealers' cars have all these, like, little, if you, like... Compartments? If you, like, turn the air all the way on and then turn the heat on and the cooling off and, like, do a bunch of different things, a secret compartment will open with drugs in it. Yeah. And so people will, like, buy these cars and let's just be like, let me turn on the air. Oh, my God, there's three pounds of cocaine. Do you want to hear a funny story about car compartments? Sure. So when I was a teenager, I had... So when I was William Wallace. William Wallace. Is that the guy from um, Scotland? I think so. I think he was a Scottish or Irish. No, Scottish. Um, he's the guy from Braveheart. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up. Yeah. So uh, when I was, was a Scottish knight who became one of the main leaders during the Wars of Scottish Independence. Yeah, he's the Braveheart guy. So when I was in high school, I like worked a bunch of like side jobs for cash and I didn't spend a lot of, so like I always had like spare cash and was like buying things with it. Mm -hmm. And my parents didn't know where I was this getting the money. Is so they thought I was dealing I'll with drugs. I'll explore more after I take so this battery. Your parents didn't know truck. you had a job? I didn't have a job. I was working like, like odd jobs, like mowing people's lawns and like. Your parents didn't know that you had work ethic? But my parents, see, my parents are divorced, though, so it's like when I was working oh. at one parent's house or the other parent's house, like, they didn't know about that. So they were just extremely neglectful. So all they, no. <laughs> so all they see is, like, me, like, buying all these things, and they're like, where the fuck is she getting this money from? And so they were like, she's selling drugs. And, of course, this is, like, at the beginning of, like, when my bipolar symptoms are starting to, like, manifest, so I'm acting kind of weird anyway. So they took apart and my- And then you told them you thought you were bipolar, and they said it was a phase. So really, everything's their fault. <laughs> and they took apart my entire car and drug tested me and like massive. cut off my hair. I'll like, explore piece more of my after. Hair. Oh, I, I was like, <laughs> and then they like shaved your head in the basement. No. I was like, wait a second, this is a little far. And then they found out that like actually I was not on any drugs and like wasn't I, I wasn't even doing anything. And they were just and I was like, I'm just a responsible kid who has money. And then that's where it all went downhill yeah. because. They told and you. which is why when we were talking earlier about how if everyone thinks you're a fuck up, I would be so fucking pissed. I was really pissed at the time. I probably would have like slashed the walls or something. Let's continue playing the game. <laughs> I think I you're used getting to love to <laughs> mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. No, they're not. You can always get it back. <sighs> Gosh. No, our life is over now, Mari. Okay. There's this no getting Matt out. has seen some things. Mostly feet. Feet. What are we looking for? Oh, we have to return the battery to the car. I know, but I'm looking at all the oh, stuff. Oh, okay. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Uh. Here's the side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. You're a long way from the beach. Oop, more stuff. Oh, okay. All right, Max, you ever hated <clears throat> someone's guts but then later felt bad because they found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got inside his douchebag got the David got inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which means demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I went along with it, but just so I could wave my bag of herb in his stupid mustache face. I guess it backfired because now David is moving into my old house. I say old house because if he's there, I sure as shit am not. AJ's snoring, oh sorry. Oh my god! Just let him. People like the AJ snores. <laughs> also, I... Oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of price. Chloe. Beta. Bane of fascists! <laughs> you know who... Do you think they included that on purpose? I hope they did. Good. <laughs> I love that... Have you seen the Wolfenstein commercials? Yes. I'm sorry, it's not controversial to punch Nazis in a video game. It's not. And I <laughs> stand by that. My name's Mari. You can find me at Geek Remix on Tumblr, Instagram, and, and, and Twitter to yell at me about it, because I will laugh at you. <laughs> Don't yell at Stacy. Yell at me. <laughs> Thanks. Go up. Okay. Uh, I'm at, okay. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool! I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, but then you had weed, didn't you? Because it's awesome. Okay, you're not helping yourself, Chloe. <laughs> you what, Mom? It's just good drugs! <laughs> like, you're not helping your case at all. I just don't know what to do anymore. It rhymes with cleave favid. Flavid. Flavid. <laughs> Chloe, can you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Fuck you, Mom. Yeah, Mom. Maybe you should be yeah, a mom. Yeah, Mom. Make it a great day. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> that looks like one of those things I try to take home and then cut my hand on and then get a staph infection. Mm-hmm. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Okay, buddy. Come here. What's he doing? Is he just grumbling? He's acting like an old man dog. <laughs> he is an old man dog. You I know, know that, right? I know. AJ's hey, old now. But he's just... AJ has a heart murmur. And I panicked about it. Well, just don't give him any, like, drugs or anything and he'll be okay. What do you mean? Like, don't, like, don't give him coke? Yeah! <laughs> I'll explore more Seriously, after I take this battery back to the truck. Don't give your dog coke. But he's Max survived. And I used to like... go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? What were you gonna say? He survived this long, and even with all of his anxiety, he's still okay. Kind of. Maybe he has a heart murmur from his constant panic attacks. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. Chloe, you still have to go to public school, okay? It's not like Blackwell's the only school the, in the, the world. Only school. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Yeah, because they showed you kindness where everyone else was showing you their butthole, so. Their butthole. Their bleached buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Fake ass bleached buttholes. Listen, knock it all you want, but after I get my butthole waxed, I feel very confident. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Having a clean bite. Oh. Have you ever gotten- How would it shock her if the car's not on? Because I to I'm telling you, it's Chloe Price. Everything that bad could happen will happen. That's true. Too stressed. Too stressed to live. It's... Are you just gonna stick a screw? No, oh god. What? It works! Well, at least you know it works a little bit. 
Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. <laughs> 